Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so dry hair, haircut, new lease of life. OK, so if you have recently done something with your hair, which in turn makes your hair lighter, if you use bleach or if you're lucky enough to have light hair and you've put something on it, which has made it even brighter, Nine times out of ten, you will probably start to realise that it changes the texture of your hair. Now, before I actually opted for highlights throughout my hair, I never actually knew this, or at least I never thought that it would happen to me, where the texture would change to that much of an extent that it would actually start to make my hair quite dry. So since Christmas for the winter season, I opted for having a few more highlights put through my hair. And as you can see, it's quite light, it's quite blonde, it's on the cooler side uh, of the highlights which I've had. Um, really like it when it's behaving, really like how it gives you a little bit more texture in finer hair, and I've purposely left my hair. I've just had my hair cut today, and I've purposely just left my hair for you to see the texture um, and how much more healthier it looks. So beforehand, and you'll probably be saying to me, why didn't you do a before shot? Well, I didn't because I was not very happy with how much of the texture had changed my hair. So I'm all for it making my hair feel a little bit more, um, having a little bit more texture. So I don't necessarily mean dry. Having texture in your hair is different from dry. So my hair is very, very sleek, very, very soft without the highlights. So therefore it makes my hair flop and it sits very, very flat. So having highlights put through your hair gives the hair a little bit more, um, a little bit more natural texture, almost like a little bit more natural volume. The men's hair, you don't want it to go over the top, so you don't want it puffy out at the sides, so you don't want it to turn into huge big hair. Well, I found that since having it done in December, that it really, really changed uh, my hair to the point of being really, really dry and to the point of not really being able to manage it that well. So I've been doing lots of reviews on products and things which I've been using, which have been really concentrating on the health, the vitality and really restoring my hair, which has been great fun. I've got a couple more to come on, um, but it's been going really, really good. But I finally looked at my hair today and I thought that the sides of my hair, which anybody who knows me, I like an undercut style, so I like to have the longer length hair, but I like to have I like to have an undercut with it as well. So as I've shown you what my hair looks like now, I'm just going to have the hair back to how I would normally wear it, which you're probably quite used to seeing me on my clip. So shorter sides, shorter sides, top knot here, shorter sides, and this is about a 0.5 to a 1 to a 2, so, and it's not faded because of course the hair from here is long. So, um, by the way, really, really happy with my hair. My hairline is much more denser and growing through, actually, and that is thanks to HR23 plus Hair House. I've just actually done a review on it. So if you have been somebody who has been following me for a little while in terms of me looking at thicker hair, you will know that about a year ago, I done a, uh, a Viviscal journey, which was fantastic. And I still love Viviscal and it will be very close to my heart forever. A great, great product. But of course, it took time. Whereas I have just, we're literally coming up to about the 12 week mark of HR23 plus hair health and that stuff has really changed my hair and it's made my hair and the roots much more thicker much more fuller in fact I've got even tiny little annoying hairs going down lower on my hairline um, and yeah you can even see if I it's it's just much more fuller much more thicker so if you're interested in what I've been using that is what I've been using and it's really really good so do have a look at their website um, and they do even comment back on my channel so if you have any questions leave a comment there I'll try and get back to you if not HR23 plus hair health may well get back to you as well but ultimately when you are looking at your hair and it's dry and you're in this sort of rut and you can't really style your hair how you want to and I'm sure um, a lot of women will know that because of course it's more more obviously common for women to have highlighted hair and to have colour in their hair. Of course, men can, absolutely. It doesn't mean nothing at all. Um, just means that you like to take care of yourself, to be quite honest with you, doesn't it? Um, so, but it, once it starts changing, you can very quickly get yourself into a rut. And dry hair often can mean, and a lot of people probably sh probably shout at me for this. Um, I was going to say shoot me down for this, but that's an awful thing to say, so I do apologise. Um, but will probably attack me for saying that dry hair, but I ultimately do feel this. When your hair starts to get dry, particularly the lengths and ends, it's time for a haircut. And any end repair system, any deep treatment system, anything like that, yes, amazing works very, very well. But it is not the same 
it is not the same as having a fresh haircut. So literally removing those ends and it can just be the minute dusting. It makes such a difference. My hair, uh, the person who cuts my hair, I've actually recently changed because they were very, very honest that my hair's got to the point now where they were struggling to cut it. Um, he's a barber, so he is very, very used to uh, short hair and shorter styles and mid-length styles. But my hair is getting a bit longer um, and the style which I'm actually opting for apparently takes a little bit more skill. So the person who actually highlighted my hair is the lady now who cuts my hair and she was the first time she's cut my hair today and I think she's done the sides absolutely amazing and all throughout the length of my hair. This is where I say a new lease of life because my hair was feeling dry. Now, I'll just take it back down for you, you can actually see that my hair, and by the way this looks, this looks loads, my hair is on the finer side, I just have quite a lot of it which is different from somebody having thick hair. So I have fine hair, but just quite a lot of it. Um, there are places where it is thicker, but it's getting uh, thinner, sorry, but there are, it's getting, overall it's getting much thicker through using HR23 plus hair house. Bear in mind, I am not affiliated with them. I do not have any connection with them at all. If I find a product which I absolutely love, then I'm gonna tell you about it. So you will see, now my hair looks super, healthy and I've got that kind of that shine back from the blonde highlights now and through just having the ends looked at as you can see the whole of my hair feels and looks really really healthy and it does and you know it really really does I can't I can't stress enough that a haircut does not mean that you're having a huge overhaul of a style or you're not uh you're not going to be losing length or anything like that at all because at the end of the day, what is the point of growing your hair if it's naff at the end or if it's really super dry or it looks like blur? Do you know what I mean? So that goes for men and women's hair, to be quite honest with you as well. So you have to look after, you have to look after all of your hair being the roots through uh, with it, where it's growing, through having a healthy, rich diet, to then using the right shampoo and conditioner and treatments for your hair. Um, and then, of course, getting regular cuts is the ultimate main thing. So if you've got dry hair, Haircut, new lease of life. That is my sort of whole sort of circle for this clip. That's what I was thinking. I've just had it cut and I'm really, really pleased with the result. Excuse me, I've got a few hairs sort of down. It doesn't look, man's top one. What do you think? <laughs> I haven't seen what the back looks like, but I think it looks really, really cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, if we're taking those vitamins, I've got all sorts of little hairs coming through in my hairline. Yeah, look, temple, much, much thicker much much thicker so if you're interested in that do have a look and i will attach that at the end of the clip but if you've got dry hair to be quite honest with you i don't care who says otherwise it's time to get to the hairdressers the barbers whatever you want to call it for a bit of a trim it doesn't have to be huge then that will eliminate the dry ends then you'll find that your products will work better and you'll find ultimately that your hair will look much more healthier it will look like you've had a whole new sort of lease of life for your hair so revitalized healthy super sleek hair Think about that trend. Okay, so thanks very much for watching this clip. Thank you very much for joining me. Got a bit tongue-tied there. Hope that sounded right. Um, and until next time, means the world that you're here sharing this with me. Um, thank you very much. If you have any questions or anything down below, please do get in touch and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Thanks very much. And as always, I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.